and completely new and we have something mm -hmm. new for you now because maybe you've heard of the Airhawk cordless air compressor you've never seen this one though because this one is the Airhawk Max we have taken it to the max we are including for you now not only a cordless air compressor and let me tell you this thing will fill it up it will it has so much pressure to it and that's what makes it different that's why people love it but on top of that first time ever that we're going to include for you I love this an extended hose a on it hose. a longer hose but mm -hmm. we're going to give you that nice long hose we're also including for you not just your battery but you get this as well looks like a battery but look what it does not a battery it is not a battery but it allows you to charge it because it comes with your little dc uh, charger case is even upgraded it is and i believe uh, is, isn't this a price we normally do 49 same five it's same. the same price <laughs> that Better. we did same but we're adding all these other goodies at yeah. 49.95 isn't that crazy shipping, three flex payments it's crazy good Okay, yes, it's crazy good. So let me show you the Airhawk and let me walk you around it real quick. So when you hold it in your hand, it kind of looks like a cordless drill, doesn't it? Yeah. And that's because it has a lot of the same features. You got that rechargeable battery that just fits on the bottom. Of course, you get the charger and everything. All your attachments stow right here on the bottom. So you've got your needle attachment for all your, you know, different sports balls, basketballs, footballs, uh, volleyball, soccer balls, all that stuff. And then you get the other attachment here that you're going to use pretty much for everything else. Air mattresses, uh, beach toys, and that sort of thing. Okay, so... What I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you how you, oh, by the way, let me take you on the, a tour of the back here. There's a power button right there, and this is one of the things that really makes this unique. When I turn it on, there's a digital pressure gauge built in. You use the plus and minus buttons to set the pressure to whatever you want. When you get the pressure you want, you pull the trigger, and the air hawk starts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this new extended hose in the end here. Notice that all the pieces like this screw right on, and the reason is this is a real compressor. There's actually a piston inside of this that takes the ambient air from around it and puts it under pressure. I'm going to put on the needle tip right here. I'm going to stick it into this little basketball. And I want you to see how quickly the air hawk blows that up in just a couple of seconds. Look at that. Yeah. Done. Right. It was that fast to do. Did, That's what's 10 crazy. seconds, maybe? Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. So I want you to think about how many times you go someplace mm -hmm. where you need to inflate something. For instance, let me grab this guy. Maybe you go down to the beach with the kids, okay? And down here in Florida sometimes, you could be 100 yards away from where you parked your car on the parking lot. It just It's like the desert. There's all the sand before you get to the water. But usually the kids wait till you get down there to tell you they want you to inflate this. <laughs> so are you going to huff and puff? Or are you going to start getting dizzy and, and, you know, feeling faint? No. You're going to have your air hawk with you because guess what? It doesn't care if you're 100 yards from your car or 100 miles from your car. The air hawk's going to work the same. Now, for a lot of people, Alice, the biggest problem is bicycles oh, okay yeah. now I'm gonna show you something I'm gonna walk around here what's funny about bicycles is somehow they always know when you're gonna go for a ride and the tires go flat okay so this tire is definitely dead flat we've already preset the proper pressure in here using that digital pressure gauge so I've already put it in here all I have to do now is I'm gonna pull the trigger and as, oops, or I could turn it on. Oh, there we go, and then pull the trigger. And now it's gonna start filling the tire. Now, I'm not gonna sit there and babysit it. I'm gonna back away slowly, okay? And Hands what's up. gonna, yeah, no, that's Hands right. Free. Hands up. Well, what's gonna happen now is it's gonna fill the tire to the pressure I've already preset. I could be packing lunches, I could be, look, done. It has filled that tire in just a couple seconds. Oh my gosh. Isn't it amazing? It is amazing. It is smart. It is $49.95. It has never come. Such a this great deal. is my That's huge. new favorite thing right here. <laughs> Look at that. Which means, you know, you don't have to like try and get it right on it or anything, because sometimes it's tight spaces that you want to, to try to inflate. You don't have to worry about that anymore. It is $49.95. Father's Day. And please don't forget that moms need these things too. Oh yeah. I have bikes in my house, and let me tell you what, I had to go buy one of those little pump things yep. which number one does, a lot of work it is a lot of work it's a robot. and it's so unwieldy to yeah. try and get it this at 49.95 just do it and look being able to preset that pressure it's the easiest way to do it well and here's the thing too there's no guesswork you're not going to yeah. a gas station and spending two or three dollars to buy air ps which is free and using a pump that usually doesn't have a proper pressure gauge on it this always has that gauge with that digital display now i'm going to fill up this uh, tire on this wheelbarrow but i want you to see something there's 70 pounds of rock inside of this this is a metal wheelbarrow and this is one flat tire right there I mean that is just a super super flat tire so what I'm gonna do is I've already preset in this the proper pressure for this it's written on the side already put that pressure in there I'm gonna squeeze the trigger and I'm gonna walk away now what I want you to notice though 
is that it's not only going to fill the tire, it's lifting the metal wheel barrel. <laughs> it's lifting it 70 pounds is. of rock off the ground, and when it's done, it's gonna turn itself off. I don't have to sit here, I don't have to babysit it, but you know what I didn't do? I didn't unload the rock, load the wheelbarrow in my car, drive to a gas station, pay $2 to fill one tire, and then come all the way back and then reload everything. Do it on location, done. Done. So if you're a tradesman and you use wheelbarrows, you use dollies, you use anything like that that have pneumatic tires, you got to get yourself one of these or buy one as a gift for someone. And what is it? It weighs a pound? Yeah, it weighs about a pound. It doesn't just, weigh just, very much yeah, at all. It's so lightweight. So you're going to be able to j take this anywhere you want. You will take it on vacation. You will take this everywhere. Th that's my point. This is, the, see, this is the thing. That sound right there, does that sound powerful? Well, does that sound like that's going to fill a tire? No, JJ's going down. Try to put your feet on here. And, and balance and it. And balance it. <laughs> no, work. I mean, so that's why I would much rather squeeze the trigger on the air hawk than I want to stand there and be doing this breaking my back. Or even using a pump like this, which, you know, this is a compressor and it works fine, but it's always got to be plugged in to the car. With the air hawk, I can be anywhere. Now, let's talk about the next thing that everybody can use this for and that's the tires on your vehicles okay mm -hmm. um, I've got a vehicle over here I'm gonna walk over to this now usually when those little lights on your car come on inside to tell you that your tires are underinflated it's only down about five or seven pounds okay so we've let about five pounds of air out of this tire we've preset using the digital gauge on this to what the pressure of this tire should be all I'm gonna do is squeeze that trigger and watch this is me walking away walking away why because I don't have to babysit it it's going to fill it to the proper mm -hmm. pressure but here's the thing we didn't go to a gas station and cross our fingers and hope that their air pump worked or that we had change to put in there mm -hmm. we're gonna do this anywhere we are at home on the road it doesn't matter because when your tires are underinflated you're getting bad mileage your tires are wearing out faster frankly it's dangerous well yeah and that little light comes on right and then you're like uh, now I need to 